like to understand your feelings toward people who fear the supernatural, ghosts, spirits, and other intangible forces beyond the veil. Do you share this fear? Yes. I... Did... Didn't, didn't I say that I did earlier? And what happened to your office, man? Is that so? Because that's not reflected in the way you are playing your game, now is it? Wow! How do you know this? Let us investigate your feelings toward other people in greater depth. What you value, what you respect in yourself and others. Which would you say was most important in a person? Loyalty or honesty? Jesus Christ, man. His office is getting like really dirty looking. It wasn't like this before. I just noticed that there's a jar full of cockroaches over here on my left. I don't think that was there before. This game is starting to use the answers that we that I've given it against me. He knows how I've been playing the game. That's this is amazing. So cool. Anyway, this question. I think honesty is more important to than loyalty. At least if people were honest with you, you can determine whether they're going to be loyal to you or not. So, you would tell the truth, even if it resulted in an unpleasant outcome for a friend. And what about honesty then? And charity? Wow. Sorry. Oh, he just said sorry. I wonder if he's getting really aggressive with us. I, I still value honesty more than... More than charity. Charity in the sense Charity's of like... Charity is overrated, I suppose. Better to be true to yourself than to help others in need, eh? Hmm. Huh. Not Good expected. Again. I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon. I didn't think that was what he meant by charity. I thought that charity prompt was all about sparing people's feelings instead of being honest with them. Because he did talk about friends, right? Helping out people in need is important. It was just a prank, Han. Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me? Was your sluttiness... Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. Gotta watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> Jess! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. <laughs> oh, I'm deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Okay then, let's see what happens. This is a bad Ashley, idea. Since you're a recent convert. Why don't you be our medium for today? Oh, cool. Um, I'm finally playing as Ashley. Some okay. We haven't played as Josh yet. Usually, when a new character is introduced, like with any certain kind of um importance, we kind of take control of them. But we had a chance to control Josh, but we didn't. It wouldn't really make sense to control... I mean, two chances. When we first met him, 
and he was with Chris, but kind of didn't make sense because Chris was going to go through the house anyway. Or with Sam, when they were going down through the basement. Huh? I don't know, man. I don't know. He does have this look about him. Let's, I'll, I'll get into that later. I'll get into that later. Let's do this for now. I don't want to... Um, abracadabra? Okay, uh, is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone, spirit, spirit phone. Um, abracadabra? Come on. Um, if you can hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. If you're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. Is anyone there? Wherever there is. <laughs> oh, of Wait course. a minute, did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? How are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. Do you guys not watch horror movies at all? This is just a bad idea. You don't play with fucking spirit boards, okay? Fuck. Ugh. Who needs the help? Who are you? Oh. oh here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. Sister. T R. Sister. S. Sister? Oh. One sister. Oh, sister. Oh, come on. Is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well, which sister is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. Beth has a chance of living if you took the stranger's hand. If you took the stranger's hand, you would have dropped Hannah. So Hannah is dead regardless. Who are we speaking to? Hannah? Is that you? Oh God! <laughs> this is messed up. Josh, are you? I'm fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Stop. It, it, it's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If this is actually Hannah, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Josh. I can handle it. Okay. Um, let me think. Hannah, if you can hear this, like, really hear this, we all want to apologize for what happened. It, it was stupid and, and mean and we're sorry. We're so sorry, Hannah. B? E? T? R? Uh oh. I don't like this. Betrayed. What does she mean? Oh, it, it's still going. Oh, God. K I L L E D? No. Kill. We didn't kill them. It was just a prank. A Ash, calm, calm down, okay? Just. We need to find out more. I'm sorry. I am guys, so guys, sorry. What, what do they mean? Ask them what, what happened. It's, it's, it's the only way to know. Ask them, Ash. Holy shit. Things just got really spooky really quick. Like, like aside from like the, the sh sudden jump scares, it hasn't really felt like a horror game until this point. Holy crap. Um, Personally, I know how she died. Mm, so, but they don't. The clues are betrayed and killed. Who killed you? Okay. Who killed you? Hannah, who was it? L? I? B? The library. Maybe there's something in the library B here? R? O? O? Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? Oh, no! No! Holy shit! Chris! You know what? No, this is bullshit. This isn't real. Josh, I don't know what's going on. Listen. I don't know. 
I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, man, I'm, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's, let's just give him some time. I don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. I mean, if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. Okay. Okay. Oh, back to Mike. Yes? Jess! Yes! Okay, okay, I'm gonna take a minute to share my thoughts. Oh, first of all, thank you to a couple of you who let me know in the comments that time is of the essence in this game. If I take too long to walk around and explore shit, that counts as a decision, so thank you. Um, so whenever I need to explain something, I'm gonna go to this menu so that that won't be a problem. Because <laughs> I would actually prefer to be, like, rushed and when I need to be. It's just sometimes, it just... Start. Anyway, we haven't gotten a chance to play as Josh. We'll find out if we get a chance later on. If he goes exploring the library, then this I'll take this back. But for now, there's a certain look on his face. I thought it might have just been the way he looks. Like some people just have like this resting bitch face or a resting drunk face. He looks pretty much always intoxicated <laughs> it's something about his eyebrows and the uh the shading underneath his um his eyes just make him look constantly tired or worn out and a little weird it's possible i'm starting to get the feeling that this might all be an elaborate ruse because he suspects that well i'm suspecting him of holding his friends responsible for his sister's mis like disappearances so maybe he's trying to get revenge on all of them and this is all an elaborate plot and there is two people involved in these um uh, well there will be two people involved in this game i don't know i'm rambling i'm sorry i'm rambling let's just get on with it jess hun light of my life jess huh. Oh, Mike. Buddy, you in there? Beer bottle. <laughs> oh! Ah! Whoa! Christ! <sighs> you scared the blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the hell is that doing in there anyway? Where did that come from? Where did... Where did that come from? How did it... What the fuck? How did it pop up Jess? like that? Where did you go? Seriously, this how did not funny. Explain, game, how did you how did this mask pop up like that? Anyway, um second second idea is that if Josh never Jessica. had the in the oh, intention the intention to harm his friends this weekend, he might end up um I totally promise I won't murder you. That was so good! No! no. <laughs> wait, 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 you had to see this. You had to I'm not look, seeing it! No! No! no, no, no. <laughs> you recorded that? <laughs> look at your face! <laughs> I was scared, oh Jed. You can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. So I'm sorry, don't I'm, scare you. If we send that to anybody, I'm <gasps> what? gonna kill you. I didn't know you had such a cute little lady like Scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you've scared the pants off of them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Jess. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have to try harder. A challenge, eh? Well, I hope you're strapped in, because you're about to feel the full force of my mind-melting thrill skills. Can't even take a moment to crack a joke. Shit, game. 
was gonna say, you know, that I try hard to take my pants off, but damn. Uh, anyway, oh, totem, cool. Let's see, what is this one? Yellow. Guidance. Okay, those tell me what I should do. Yeah? I believe the first guidum totem was about the bird? Yeah, and I didn't hurt it. This one was about these two fingers on the left hand. Yes. You gotta cut them off. What's this? Who's hair? Who's wearing a pink... Pink jacket. Anyway, um... If Josh didn't have the intention of hurting his friends this weekend, he might end up hurting them because of the spirit board. You know? I, I mean, if I were him, and the two words betrayed and killed popped up, I would start sus getting crazy suspicions about everybody. I mean, friends are friends, but family's family, you know? Fuck, I don't know. That's the kind of, like, hardcore decisions that could make anybody snap. I'm saying all these things about Josh. Was it someone screaming? No. No. Uh, probably just, uh... Squirrel. I'm saying these things about Josh not because I don't trust him. Not because I don't like him. I actually quite like Josh. I'm just... This is coming from previous experiences with other forms of media. Up there. Hey. Just a buck. It's okay. That thing almost killed us. You okay? I scared off that elk. I think it was an elk. It's okay. It's okay. We're alive. Sometimes it's better not to do anything though, so. That might have been a mistake. Oh well. Just let's just get to that cabin. It's everything you described, Michael. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. Wow. It's very dinky. <laughs> I think that shed with a generator might have been more um more uh cozy than this place. Jesus. Oh, let's uh, not go in yet. I see a little space up ahead. Whoa, okay. If there's a space up ahead, then that's probably the right way to go. This isn't the this isn't the cabin that we're supposed to be in. This is just another thing. Why is there a mask here? Old mask found. Wait, what does that say? Bill? Hmm. Bill... Something Bates. B-A-T-E-S is the last name. Oh. Billy Bates. B-I-L-L-Y. Yeah. Billy Bates. Billy Bates, huh? Um. Yo. Nah. Let's not be... Let's not... Let's not be a dick.
back in the cabin. Let's see what else we can find. Um, I feel like that was probably the only thing in here. Billy Bates, who is that? Oh, more importantly, do I get to keep that clue? Yes, of course I get to keep the clue, but do I get to see... No! Oh, yes, Billy Bates. Dang. Didn't have to take that much time investigating the name. Okay, that's fine. It's chill. Let's go up. Shit, dude. Uh, I I really wonder how far this cabin that we're supposed to try to go to is. It seems like it's a ways away. Like it doesn't even make sense <laughs> to have a second property so far from the main lodge. Oh man. What is that? That's that's not a human. That's a predator that just killed its prey. Is the wolf? not gonna make it. Um, let's put it out of its misery, dude. Uh, it's not gonna make it. Okay, bud. Hey. I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, how do I, uh... I can't watch this. Okay. Sorry, okay. Jess. Okay. Okay. What the fuck? It came up! Ah! 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 Run! Ah! Run! Run! Oh my god, what the hell was that? I don't know! Oh, there's a friend! Over here, over here! Mike! Get over here! Oh. 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 It's a bear! That's gotta be a bear! Oh, look! Look! Oh, fuck. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Come on, Jess. Get your ass, get that hot ass in gear, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, girl. Come on. Oh, here's the cabin. Oh, God. Jess. 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 On, we gotta go. Let's go. Whoa, I'm trying to help. Ooh. Barging in, I promise. How can you be sure? Cuz I'm pretty sure bears don't know how to open cabin doors. I've seen them open car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. Okay. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Good. Almost. No power. Huh. Fuck. Typical. Arr. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Michael, it... I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Yeah, it definitely helped, okay. dude. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. Mike. Yeah. Fire and mood lighting. Yes. <laughs> My lady. So that little... 
the, the the little opening in the door with the key sequence could have totally be a, it could have totally been a quick time event and it would have been a good one. Up over. Ah, this will take care of the mood lighting. <laughs> That's not very moody though. Fuck man. Okay, it. I don't think that was the bear. If you don't see the bear, it, it could be anything. Really, it could be anything. You don't know. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Pronto. I am on it, right. my lady. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. There's no way in fuck you can light that thing up with just a match, boy. You need fucking tinder and kindling, dude. Native American Myths and Legends by Joseph Malik. Hmm. Could I take a read? I can't You're do anything. You're lighting a fire, Michael. Not writing a novel. How much longer is it gonna take you? Fine. Fine. I guess I'll read that later. Where can I? Mm. Oh, Shh. Jess, look at this. Is it a fire? No, way cooler. Um, check this out. Huh? How you like me now? Oh my god. Why do guns make them go completely bonkers? Let's go get that match, dude. I'm sorry. Right. Should have done that after I lit the fire. I shall never understand what we have together. <laughs> Mike, I'm turning you into a worthless Nick Poop, I'm sorry. I'm sure you're much more capable than I am letting <laughs> letting her think you are. There are the matches. Oh god, every single time it flashes to her. She's getting pissed. Shit. Fuck Mike! What? Oh crap! What? What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone! It is gone, okay? Yes. What is Slow gone? Down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can't find it? Okay. Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. Oh. Shit. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Damn. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. After the fire. It's gotta be outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. <sighs> Fine. I'll go get it. Fuck. Let me just take care of this fire first. One thing at a time, please. Grab the matches. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been <laughs> dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? Alright. Candle first. Um, never mind. The candle wasn't even a prompt. There's just matches on the table. Oh, one left. Fantastic. No way. Man one. Bullshit. Fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. Uh oh. Is that really a bear? All right, my lady. What comes next? Can a bear really? S Can a bear really snatch a body that quickly without being noticed on camera? There's no way it'd be a wolverine that can do that. Oh. No way. Wolverines are not this tall either. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mike? What is that? <laughs> no. Okay, well, go find out now, please. You got it. Let's. Alright, gun time. Can I grab you, Mike? Mm, God damn it, Mike. Not coming from. Yes, coming from here. It's coming from right out here. Let's see. 
never mind then. Let's check the kitchen area. Ah. Bust the door open. Huh. Okay. So they saw us from the front door window, but they busted this window. Oh shit. Uh oh. This is not good. This ain't good. It's your phone! What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it! What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. <sighs> <laughs> this girl's hilarious. It's just so hey! funny. Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know! <laughs> I was just gonna say, that can't be a bear. Bears don't have opposable thumbs. <laughs>